What's going on YouTube? My name is Sean and thank you guys so much for tuning in today. Today's video I'm hoping is going to be a lot of fun and it's going to be a quick little introduction as to who I am, what I'm doing here on YouTube, and take you guys up to the fish room and give you guys a little tour and introduce you to everybody. I don't like to ramble too much, so let's go ahead and get into the video. Now, before we go upstairs and get into the fun stuff and meet all the fish, I wanted to go over a little bit of why I'm on YouTube in the first place and give you guys a little bit of an introduction as to who I am. Like I said before, my name is Sean and I've been keeping fish for a number of years now. I'm extremely passionate about the hobby and I love everything aquarium and fish keeping related. This channel is primarily to connect with you guys, the viewers, on a new level and to be able to express my passion, love, and knowledge on the hobby and pass it on to you guys. I want to give you guys good factual information and give you guys content that's not only entertaining, but stuff that you guys want to see. That's why I really want to encourage from the get-go of this channel, really good interaction from you guys. I would love to read your comments, love to receive your messages. I'm going to link all my social media and every bio of every video that I shoot, and I would love to hear from you guys. I don't want to make videos unless you guys want to see them. So that's the main goal I'm trying to get across here with this message. Tell you guys a little bit about who I am, why I'm doing this in the first place, and make sure you guys know that I want all your suggestions and every piece of content, I want it to be entertaining and something that you guys actually want to see. Let's go ahead and head upstairs and I'll show you a little bit around my fish room. Starting off the fish room tour is our Pearl Cherry Flower Horn Larry. Now Larry is an absolutely awesome fish, even though I've only had him for a couple of weeks. So far, he's really got a ton of personality and is just an absolutely beautiful cichlid. For those of you who don't know, he is a flower horn. More specifically, he is a pearl cherry flower horn cichlid. He's only about six to eight months old. He's about four, maybe four and a half inches in length, and he is just an absolutely awesome animal. Now, I do plan on coming out with a flower horn care guide that will be starring Larry within the coming weeks, and I hope you guys tune into that video. They're an absolutely great fish, they're hardy, they're beautiful, and as you can see, they love to swim and have a ton of personality. Next up on the tour is our betta. His name is Spartacus. We call him Sparky for short. We've had him a number of months now, and he's just flowing with awesome color, really great fins, and uh, has a lot of personality. Right now he is in a 10 gallon aquarium. He absolutely has tons of space in here and really enjoys it. Um, if you check out my Instagram, we had a bit of an issue with his 10 gallon previously and we had to completely drain it, rescape it and get everything reset for him. I put that time lapse up on my Instagram. If you guys have any desire to check that out, that would be awesome. Very simple tank, nothing exciting about a 10 gallon betta tank, but he just is absolutely beautiful and it wouldn't be a full fish tour if there wasn't a, a betta in it, I don't think. So wanted to show you guys him. Next on the list, I'm gonna show you guys the 55 gallon here. This is a community cichlid tank. These guys are all South American or Central American cichlids. They are all really on the small size as of right now because these guys are again in a 55, which is really not big enough for almost any of these guys when they hit their full grown size. But we do have a 125 gallon that is in the basement that is these guys eventual home. So this is strictly a grow out tank. And right now we're just kind of enjoying it here in the fish room until they do get a little bit of size on them. And then these guys will move on up. We've got a red spotted gold severum here who is absolutely gorgeous. He's kind of the star of this tank as of right now due to his size and just awesome personality. We have got a electric blue Akara who is very similar in size and again has awesome personality, is always out swimming and showing himself off. We have a pair of fire mouths in here. There is one and the other is back here in the corner. And then our electric blue Jack Dempsey, who is fairly new to the tank as well. He's a little bit stressed, so his color's not fantastic. He is going to be an absolute monster. And lastly, we have got our Rock Keel, or Red Shoulder Severum, who is, uh, again, a very small size. He is a small juvenile right now. He's going to grow into some absolutely massive size, get some great color, and he's just going to be absolutely beautiful. 
So this tank is definitely one of my favorites, but in the coming months when these guys get some size on them, uh, the updates will start flowing in and these guys will look like completely new fish. So they're really great, they're fun to watch, they're active, but as a lot of you guys know about cichlids at this small size, their colors aren't quite what they'll be and it's gonna be a really cool time watching them transform into their adult size. Alrighty guys, and last but certainly not least, this is the tank that definitely had the most uh, decoration and it's kind of the tank that everyone really enjoys just coming in to look at. This is our community tank, it is a 29 gallon. We've got a, quite a mix of community fish here. These guys here, we've got some uh, long fin serpe tetras. We got four of those guys. We've got three of the white skirt tetras. Back there, we have our long fin gold ram. Right there, you just saw disappear behind the grass is our German Blue Ram, who is absolutely gorgeous. If I could get a decent shot of him here. This tank has been in um, my possession for quite a long time. We've had this tank for a number of years and these guys are just super active. They absolutely love to swim uh, all throughout the tank. When we pop open this top to feed these guys, they swarm the top. They have a lot of personality and are just a lot of fun to watch. This is the tank I find myself a lot of the time when I'm wanting to relax and just watch some fish really be active and swim. We find myself all the time being drawn to this tank. Thank you guys so much for going on my fish room tour with me and sticking around until the end of the video. I'm so excited to be here on YouTube. I can't wait to document this journey with you guys and hopefully put out awesome content that you guys want to see and keep on coming back for more. I can't stress enough how much I want this channel to be viewer driven and how much I want to put out content that you guys want to see. That's why I highly encourage you guys to be interactive with me. Feel free to shoot me messages. Feel free to drop comments down in the comment box. And please, if you guys enjoy what you see and want to see more, Please feel free to leave us like, subscribe, comment, and turn on that notification bell so that way anytime I post a new video, it goes right to your phone, right to your computer, or whatever device you're watching this on. I'm going to be taking every comment that I get into account, keeping track of what you guys want to see, and hopefully pick my videos from the comment section and from what ideas you guys give to me. Thank you so much for sticking it out. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you next time.